Our team coverage of the war in Israel continues now with Western Mass News reporter Kristen Burnell, who joins us live in studio after getting answers on America's possible involvement. Kristen. Chris, many people we spoke with over the past few days have compared the events unfolding overseas to a horror movie. I brought questions to one local professor about what this war could mean for the United States. The last time we saw um, Jews, grannies and babies murdered or taken hostage was, yeah, well, during the Holocaust. As war continues on for a fourth day in Israel, people in Western Mass are sharing stories they have heard from their family and friends overseas, witnessing tragedies unfold firsthand. Are we supposed to speak about, you know, the, the way that they slaughtered kids? Not, not infants, babies. There is a six-month-old baby by the name of Ariel that is now being captured, being kept as a hostage in, in, the, in the Gaza. What are they feeding him? Where's his mother? Western Mass News is getting answers on what this war means for the United States military. Is almost 0% chance the U.S. military will be involved directly. Uh, that uh, that likely won't happen. Um, we are, however, likely to see a, a surge in military assistance uh, very quickly. The U.S. will be providing more uh, military uh, hardware, also intelligence gathering, access to satellite information. It, very different than Ukraine, though. Local professor Andy Ryder explains how it might be a problem for the United States if the war expands beyond Israel. Hasn't had a lot of success in the Middle East recently, and it doesn't have a lot of, uh, a lot of friends there other than Israel. And one of the problems is, is Iran doesn't like the United States and also doesn't like Israel. And it supports groups like Hamas and Hezbollah and Lebanon. And all of those groups uh, are very keen on attacking the U.S. if there's a possible opportunity to do so. The U.S. has to be careful not to be drawn in too much to make it a larger war, but um, make it clear that there'll be repercussions if U.S. Um, if U.S. people or, or forces are attacked. Now, Professor Ryder adds that the United States will most likely use diplomatic relationships with countries like Egypt to release any American citizens that are being held hostage by Hamas. Reporting live at Studio, Krista Brunel, Western Mass News.